Hey guys, so I'm outside right now and I just figured it would be nice to talk about a few things. Um, firstly, I want to talk about my YouTube channel. I have been, uh, a substantial amount of subscribers have gained them. Four subscribers, plus four in the past 28 days according to statistics on my channel i i was at about 127 for starters but i actually gained five to five becoming five subscribers today so now i have 132 i just want i just really want to say thank you guys for all this for all of the exponential support for not just the past uh year but for the past whole YouTube his channel history, which is six years, um, <clears throat> yes, it's going to be seven years in May, but thank you guys for that, thank you guys for the, uh, amazingness you give me every time, um, and, yeah, that's just what I have to say about that, just big thank you, oh, geez, I have to get a, make a heart with my fingers, um, you know what? I'll just set it on the ground. Thank you. Okay. Now, the second thing I want to talk about now is videos. For videos, I might go back into making Ninja Man videos, as somebody requested me today in school that I make I go back into making Ninja Man videos. And it has literally been a year since I've done it, I guess. Um... I'll definitely look back into it, guys, uh, the Ninja Man videos, uh, won't be long, I am pretty quick at interpreting, and, uh, what I want to do and planning and stuff, and some days I am good at it, some days I am not, so I've kind of just been slacking and forgetting about the whole topic, um, usually somebody recommends it to me and I forget, because I make other videos or get distracted with my life and I have school. Not an excuse, I'm just saying I don't ever look into making Ninja Man videos like I used to two years ago, to a year ago. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is I will definitely get into cooking videos. For my channel, I want to make cooking videos. So... If you guys don't know this already, but I, last year in 8th grade, <clears throat> I used, every time at lunch table, I would always make disgusting creations with the school food, and I would name them after I made them. Sometimes, yes, it's heinous as it sounds, but I actually ate them sometime. I didn't eat all of it, I just taste tested it, because mostly it was by dare, for my friends sitting at the table with me. Sometimes it was peer pressure, and sometimes I just did it to be funny. Um, yeah. If you guys don't mind, I will tell you some of the creations I made, but I won't put it into such heinous detail. So, my first ever creation that I made like a year ago was bean water soup. Bean water soup was a favored creation, and it's basically just as it sounds. I got beans from the cafeteria lunch uh, line, and I put like ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise in there, and I put some peaches and stuff, and then I put some crunches of food, and around that same time was when I evolved to rubbing gummies on the floor with my feet. Um, around that time, I would take up, my friend would hand me gummies, since I didn't have my own, because I got school lunch last year, and he would <clears throat> hand me the, he would hand me the gummies, is that a June bug? It is. Sorry, off topic, I just noticed there are June bugs outside now. Um, anyways, yes, he would give me freaking gummies, and I would take a couple, I wouldn't, he would hit me like two, and I'd, and I'd rub them together on the floor. I'd just place them on the floor discreetly. 
and then I'll just start rubbing them with my shoe and I would keep up that pace until eventually I stopped and then when I picked them up after a couple of minutes I saw the most horrendous thing you could ever see of a gummy they were black hairy and covered in dirt and they looked like freaking sasquatches because they had so much hair and I would rub them into different shapes like for instance I would rub the gummies in a uh, in a side-by-side -side motion vertic horizontally wait no, vertically depending on where my shoe position was I would rub them horizontally ver ver vertically this way until they would be oblong figures and then they would be shaped into different shapes sometimes like I would just my feet would just morph them and they would be so disgusting that obviously I didn't dare to taste test it and I did not give into that peer pressure and I put them in my creations I believe I did put that in the bean water soup though um that's the bean water soup for ya and so that brings up another creation similar to bean water soup. Same ingredients, beans and stuff, but it's, I called it a sundae. A bean sundae, I think it's called. Basically, it was the same freaking recipe as bean water soup, and... <clears throat> except it had something special. Uh, I put some hint of milk in there, and then fruit juice. And then I put, I think I put a flower in there. I don't remember, but I put a real life flower in there. And then I called it a sundae. And then I just stir, I put the lid back on and I stirred it around and shook it. And then there was the sundae. And I would actually sometimes make creations and drop them off at different tables. Uh, and just absolutely disturb the heck out of people if they even cared to notice. So, this one table, actually, I went and made grub cereal one day. Another creation. But I'll spare you the details. What I did was, I made the creation as usual, and then I set it down on their table. It was my friend, Paulo, Rogelio, Jeremiah. But, yeah, I'm not sure if those two were my friends, but Paulo is. Anyway, um... I set it down on their table, and Jeremiah immediately said, Get that sh t out of here. That's what he said. Yeah, he said, Get that uh, sh t out of this table. And so I didn't listen, and I walked away for a couple minutes until he literally grabbed it, and then he put it on the table so hard that some that the lid popped open some of it spilled out and so I just and so me and my friends had to finish cleaning up the mess after lunch was over that's what happened I remember it fell, I remember it some of it spilling off the table off the edge of the table and spilling onto my leg pants yeah that's that that happened um but I remember I made bone milk and it was literally as it sounds I just grabbed milk and I put a bone in it and let it dissolve the rest of the meat, junks, and bone juice, if that's a thing. But yeah, it freaking was everything I made that had to deal with liquids was discolored as the frickest discolor you've ever seen. Literally, it was discolored. And then I made Vietnam pizza and, and forest pizza. They're kind of similar, but forest pizza is my favorite. Basically, what I did with that one was I put sand as the... Uh, I put apple juice on sand, and then I... on the pizza. It was the cheese pizza, by the way. Wait, no, it was pepperoni. Yeah. Pepperoni. I used the pepperoni as volcanoes. I used broccoli as trees. I used actual flowers that I collected in the morning that day. Um, and then I, I put a rock in there. Yes, I put an actual freaking stone on the pizza. And the stone was about the size of my hand, by the way. The palm, at least. 
And then the stone freaking fell through the pizza and crashed onto my tray. And that, and so, yeah, that, that happened. And this one now, I'll, I'll, I'll about the creations. Let's get on to what I did at the lunch table last year. Some pretty hilarious crap you're going to hear. It's not really hilarious, but it's kind of silly anyway. But, yeah. Silly crap at the lunch table yesterday. I mean, uh, last year. <sighs> Feels like yesterday, by the way, but no. Nah. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, <clears throat> last year, I would go to the lunch table sometimes and say some pretty crappy shit to my friends. And it wasn't mean, by the way. It was just silly, sometimes inappropriate, sometimes gruesome, sometimes freaking cathartic to religion. I guess, I don't know, sacrilegious, but freaking, we, we made jokes, jokes that little kids wouldn't want, jokes that are so inappropriate, adults get their freaking stomachs churned, one time I said, hey yo, I effed, well I said the actual word, but I said, I effed my windowsill last night. And then they were like, what, Richie? And I was like, yes, I f***ed my windowsill last night. And then they were like, yo. And yeah, you know the drill. And then another time I was playing with my food. And we, and, and then we, um, we... Got the, we got, we got, we got word from another table that there was a food fight going on. It, and so I looked over to the left, to the left, and then I saw the freaking table throwing food at each other, food at each other. I won't state their names, but I do remember who it was. For privacy reasons, I won't state their names. And what I did was, I just watched with my friends, and... Then, that one, this other, this one kid picked up applesauce and threw it at another kid, and he got mad, he got pissed, and so he put his hoodie over his head and started chasing after him. And then, in the midst of all that, I got my arm freaking cut by a sharp piece of pizza. Yes, I got cut by pizza. There is no scar to prevail the wounds that I faced that day, but it was on my elbow. And the freaking crust scratched me. Yes, it did, by the way. It scratched me. It did. Literally, actually. And <laughs> freaking these kids kept running around the cafeteria throwing freaking milk at each other. It was insanely epic. And then other tables got into the action and started throwing food at each other, too. And then the principal came in, or the coach did. And he, he literally grounded the, he literally grounded their asses out of the freaking cafeteria. He pulled them out into his office. That was insane. Wish you guys were there to see it. It was epic. It was like freaking horrendous. Uh, anyway, I was thinking of saying Vietnam more because it was like being a Viet being Vietnam War re- veteran because I was so traumatized by that pizza. Literally, oh my god, I got cut by the pizza so bad. I'm so traumatized. <sighs> anyway, what I did with my food. Yes. Transitioning to this. I launched carrots at people last year. Like, freaking missiles. And a projection turret. Projectile turret. And... How I did this was I would take the carrots out and then set them on the table gently as to not freaking bombard them with my fist so hard that they crushed into pieces, which actually did happen. Um, but I did end up doing that, as I, I think I already said that. Yeah. We'll just do the funny part first. One time I pounded the carrot so hard directly square in the middle that it crushed into two pieces. Two halves of carrot laying before me. 
I have slain a carrot, and its ironclad no longer prevails. It wasn't tough enough for my fist. That's the metaphor. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, I crushed a carrot or two. But one time I did launch a carrot into the wall, and then it splatted the wall. It did not put a hole. A lot of people have questioned me if, hey, Richie, did you put a hole in the wall? And I was like, no, I didn't. It wasn't strong enough. But it almost hit a teacher. And it even went under the cooler of, uh, ice cream machine a few times. And, yeah, it, the carrots were lost forever. And they're probably moldy by now because the janitor never got to it. <laughs> and uh, how it hit the teacher, almost did, was the teacher was a teacher or a parent was walking by my friend's table just across. And she was right in the vicinity of my carrot aim. And I launched it too soon before even realizing that the poor lady was standing before me. And <clears throat> the carrot, she walked away just in time as the carrot zoomed by her face and hit the wall, crunching in two with a sickening snap. It sounded like bones breaking, I tell you. Um, <clears throat> laying before you in it is the dead carrot that was once that was that was once supposed to hit supposed to be a successful hit to Rahelio in which it failed its mission and hit the wall instead bad carrot but we respect you salute soldier um and cutting to the successful parts of the missions with launching carrots at people uh bro freaking i remember I was trying to launch carrots at Rahelio, but it keep it kept hitting the table and hitting their lunch boxes every time I launched one. And uh have I not explained how I did it? No, I haven't. Well then, I have some explaining to do, shall we in it? Uh, sorry for my uh failed British slash Australian accent, Austro-British accent, because I'm doing practice on it anyway. Um, don't you dare freak out. Don't you dare knock me off chair. The chair is not supporting my weight, I guess. And so, what I, you better stop, freaking chair. Anyway, um, what I did was, I, um, I, <laughs> dude, that was a bit uncalled for when I stuck my tongue at the chair. I was a bit mad. Um, but, what happened, what, where was I anyway? Ah, oh, yes. The, launching carrots at my friends. And explaining how I launched the carrots, by the way. How I would launch the carrots is I would set the table, is I would set the carrot on the table, and then I would raise my fist up four feet into the air, or four two feet above me, launch it as far as back as I could, and then pound it. It's on the end, on the tip of the carrot, the fat part on the, well, I like to, to call those sticks erect st carrots. Sorry, there's a wasp over there. I don't like wasps. I deal with them. But yeah, uh, the carrot, I would launch it. Then it would zoom as fast as the freaking speed of light and hit somebody, hit some poor soul of a kid, and my main target was always Paulo because his reactions are funny to it, and he always was a baby about it. He would always be like, bro, stop, Richie, you're not funny. That's what he was always like, and it, it was hilarious, if you if you will, um, but that's basically what happened. Usually it would hit Rahelio, and I remember it hit him straight in the freaking hiney. And then he got so pissed that he was like, Bro, stop! And then Jeremiah intervened, and then he was like, Richie, stop! And then he, he, he got up from his seat, and then he put the previous creation that I had set on his table, on our table. And it was, uh... It was a horrible freaking creation. Like, it was a messed up, it involved a messed up tray. I'll tell you that. And 
It, 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 he, he came over with it, he held the tray, and he set it down, smack on our table, in front of me. And then, I was like, Dude, why'd you put this on my table? And he's like, because that's disgusting, and nobody wants that. And then, Rahelio got upset, and then Jeremiah allowed him to commit to his vengeance for me. And so, Rahelio walks over to me, and then he puts the carrot right into my pants. And then, and then I get the carrot out, and I launch it so hard that it does not launch. Instead, I pound it, and it breaks. Carrot parts fly everywhere. Yeah, I have a strong fist, by the way, because of that. Knowing that I can break carrots in multiple pieces. Millions of smithereens. But, yeah. That's the carrot story. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Ah, yes. Um, <clears throat> the burgers. I loved the burgers, if you will. The burgers in the school lunch line were delicious. But what I did was with the burgers, they were my favorite. Op they were my favorite for making creations. And what I did was I would always uh, freaking smash them like this, like smash, like I would just Hulk smash them. I Hulk slap them, like slap them like an angry woman with a purse. And then I would, they would always like fly burger everywhere. And then I even wound up put ketchup in. I even one day put ketchup in there and mustard. And then I picked it up with my hand and then I repeatedly slapped it on the table and poor Aiden had to watch the whole crime unfold before him. Hey. Ew, there's ants. I don't like that, but it's fine though. And he had to watch me break the burgers, literally. And then, uh, yeah. The burgers. That's the burgers. But, doesn't sound very amusing, I know. I just didn't have much to say about it, but I just felt like I had to be recommended, because it's I loved the burgers. I know you love burgers. I know at least a couple other people on my channel love burgers. I, I know just burgers are good is my point, and I decided to have a little fun with them one day. Another thing I want to mention is, um, well actually nothing right now because I'm trying to think what else to say. Talk about Slash. <clears throat> School lunch, school lunch. Nothing more about school lunch, right? Oh, yes, the bananas. Um, actually, just earlier today, I was playing with a banana, and then I was taunting my friend with the banana, and then he told, and then he was talking to to the Co to Cohen. His name's Bennett, by the way. He was talking to Cohen, and freaking Cohen. Uh, well, no. Freaking me, the silly me that I am, I decided to be the laughing stock. And what I did was I grabbed the banana and pretended that I was beating it. Like I was beating the banana physically. And then I, I, it felt soft after I did it. It was mushy and it, it mushed. The inside of it mushed at least. And then what happened after that was I decided to put my hand over the stem and I decided to repeatedly rub it to be funny. But then it ended up snapping. Like this. The banana stem was like... This is the banana, right? This is the banana stem. Snap. The banana peel came open. And banana leaked out a little bit, but it was fine. Not too much did. And then I was like, oh, oh I just snapped its neck. And because I was trying to be more funny. And then he was like, nice. And then I ate the banana. And then I took the banana peel. And then I started slapping it on the table like this. And then I would always, and then I started throwing it, and then throwing banana pieces at my friend Aiden. And then, um, the banana peel, I made a joke, and it's, it's, it's inappropriate, by the way. But I, but it, it was a pee pee joke. But I said that the banana was circumcised. Circumcised. And. He was, and then they brought up a meme, which is actually kind of funny. It also had to do with circumcision. 
And yeah, that's just what happened with the banana today. The cheese sticks, however, I haven't mentioned those. Last year, the cheese sticks were the best part of it all. Rolling on the floor, you know, the motion. My friend, my very kind and generous friend, Bennett, would always bring cheese sticks from his house to me. Because he always enjoyed the stuff I did to them. To any food. To any to any willing food that was um, concessioned for conventionally to the table. And I say conventionally because it was a very traditional thing then to make food. Disgusting food. Because it was a regular thing, I'll say. And the cheese sticks, I would rub them on the floor, I would stomp on them with all my might. And then they would end up being so freaking dirty. I, not as dirty as the gummies, but they're still dirty and hairy. And they would be morphed into different shapes. One time I actually morphed it into the shape of Patrick Star from Spongebob. And yeah, that's what happened with the cheese. And um, I was actually thinking of something as I said that, but I forgot. It's fine, I probably should, or I'll remember it. Yeah, uh, but that's what's been going on lately. I just, I just decided to share some things uh, that I've been wanting to. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, if you would like to see more. Uh, I love you guys all. Thank you for 132 subscribers. I did actually just update my about section, if you go check that out. I updated my about info on the 130 subscriber milestone, which we hit on the 26th, March 26th, two days ago. And, uh, tomorrow, look out for a video about opening up. And... It's basically going to release some information about me that you might have, that you've never known. You might have found out already based off my behavior, but just, well, I probably gave it away easily, but I'll just be fully releasing out to the world on um, stuff you never knew about me and stuff I've kind of been holding back and slowly discreetly letting out to the world around me. Friends, family, loved ones as such, and girlfriend. Uh, yeah. Just stay tuned for more. Hit the bell if you want to. It's your choice. Like and subscribe. It's also your choice. You can unsubscribe at any time if you already are. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Also, uploading more videos of me banging my head on the table. I mean, on the wall. That's what I'll be uploading today. So, thank you guys for watching again. Stay safe, take care, peace. Daddy, chill. <sighs>